If you love transforming everyday budget-friendly IKEA finds into stunning pieces, I think you're gonna love today's video. I am so excited to be sharing my absolute favorite top IKEA hacks of all time, so let's get started. First up, I am turning ordinary over-the-fridge IKEA kitchen cabinets into a beautiful, cozy dining bench. This hack is so fantastic for maximizing space because it creates a two-in-one piece. So you can sit on this piece and you can store things underneath. Always a great idea for small spaces. We created a base for this with some scrap pieces of two by four, and then I'm placing the cabinets on top. I'm using two IKEA over-the-fridge kitchen cabinets. I will link to similar ones they have in stock now down in that description box below. Then I'm sewing a custom cushion for the top with some foam and some durable upholstery fabric. You can also use a couple of pre-made cushions for the top. If you're worried about durability, you could also install a piece of plywood on top of the cabinets. However, we've had this bench for six years and we've been using it every single day and we love it. It's held up perfectly. And speaking of coziness, the IKEA Sorzo rug is the perfect starting point for a DIY. We're gonna turn this into a beautiful textured cushion. And the best part about this hack is you do not need to know how to sew to make this gorgeous pillow. Grab the IKEA Sorzo rug and fold it up just like this. Then take some hot glue that's specifically designed for fabric. I love the Gorilla hot glue. Glue together the front just like I'm doing here and then glue together one side. Then you can upcycle some fiber fill from an old project or an old pillow, pop it inside the cushion and then use more hot glue to close the remaining hole shut. Now you have a stylish and textured pillow for your sofa and I love how this can mix and match with pretty much any other style and color of cushion. Now let's talk about turning an unused smaller space into an office nook. And that's what we wanted to do in our little lake house rental. So to do this, we used two IKEA PAX wardrobes, which are now cheaper in Canada, by the way. IKEA just announced that they're lowering prices of over 1500 products and the PAX is one of them. <laughs> And then we use a floating shelf in between of the two wardrobes to create this office nook. Sean and I are adding some trim around the top, some crown molding to make the wardrobes look a little bit more like they're built in. And then for the desktop, I just used a shelf that I found at the hardware store and we're mounting it on some brackets that are attached to the wall and the sides of the wardrobe units. And now we have the coziest little spot to work in in our little vacation rental, plus we have storage on either side. Now for those chilly nights when you wanna snuggle up, this DIY is so easy and I love how this one turned out. I'm taking this nice budget-friendly knit IKEA blanket. I was inspired by this pom-pom throw that I had seen on Wayfair for a couple hundred dollars. I'm making some pom-poms with my favorite pom-pom maker. I will link that down in the description box below. It makes pom-poms so easy to create. And then I'm just taking a crochet hook and some more yarn and attaching them to each corner of the IKEA throw. So now we have a high-end, stylish-looking throw blanket that cost us around $30 to make. I wanted to add a built-in looking storage bench and a hook wall to this narrow entry in our little lake house, but I didn't want to spend a ton of money so I had an idea to start with this Ikea Hemneys TV stand. It has drawers for storage and I'm painting it a bright and cheerful yellow. Then I'm also grabbing some beadboard from the hardware store and I'm painting it to match, installing it up and around the TV bench with some baseboard. And then I'm also just using a piece of lumber to act as a shelf on top and affixing that with some Ikea brackets. I'm caulking and painting everything so it kind of looks like all one seamless built-in piece. But I'm leaving the bench loose so I can move it around when I'm cleaning. Some hooks on the wall add even more storage and now we have such a great space for shoes, coats, jackets, seasonal items. And I love how cute this looks in the entry of our lake house. Pottery Barn has this beautiful brass rail art system that completely inspired me. So I picked up the Ikea hull tarp rail. I love these for so many different reasons and I'm gonna create something similar. 
I'm installing this on my wall and then I found these hanging frames off Amazon. They're stunning. I love that the gold color matches the gold color of the Ikea rail. Placing some artwork inside and look how beautiful this is for a unique art display. What I love about this rail is that you can change it up for the different seasons. So for Christmas, I put some rustic bells on it and I love how that looks too. If you're dealing with a tiny entry, I love this next Ikea hack. We had the smallest, narrowest entry in our tiny lake house rental, and I found the Ikea Brimney's wardrobe. Now this one is a lot cheaper than the Ikea Pax wardrobe. Assembled that, and I tucked it into this nook in the entry. Now I'm just using some trim, and we're cutting it down to size. I'm placing it and tacking it in place around the wardrobe to make it look built in, and then painting it to match the wardrobe. Then we're adding some crown molding on top to make that look even more built in. I'm adding some caulking and some paint and then some symbol baskets from Amazon to make everything look cohesive and add even more storage. I love how this adds not only function, but style to this tiny entryway. The Ikea Tarva line is a really great starting point for customization. They have a dresser, they have a nightstand, they have a long short dresser as well. And I took this tall dresser and I stained the drawer fronts and then I painted the frame black. Now I'm taking a thrift store belt, I'm cutting it up and then I'm using some brass bolts to create some really fun vintage industrial style handles for this dresser. Then I'm assembling everything together and placing this in a closet and I love how it adds this vintage industrial style to this space. For another Tarva hack, I am taking this Tarva nightstand. I found it on Facebook Marketplace. Definitely check Marketplace for old Ikea pieces that you can upcycle and hack. I'm gluing some pull wrap material onto the front drawer of this nightstand. You can find pull wrap usually at Home Depot or other hardware stores. And then I'm taking my paint sprayer and painting the whole thing this beautiful deep green color. I'm adding some nice floral drawer liner and then as a finishing touch, adding this nice modern drawer pull. I love how these turned out and how they look in our tiny lake house bedroom. If you wanna create a budget-friendly window seat, the IKEA Collax system might be your answer. I had this wall in my daughter's bedroom with this beautiful window. I wanted to create a space for her to sit, to read, and enjoy. So I took two square-shaped IKEA Collax units and one short, long one, placed them on the wall, and they were about the right size for my 10-foot wall. Then I'm adding some picture shelves on either side of the window, adding some floor cushions for seating, and some baskets for storage. Now these shelves become the cozy built-in looking window seat with tons of storage for my daughter's clothing and her toys. If you're dealing with a small eating area in your kitchen, a corner bench with a table is a great solution. In my sister's breakfast nook, I used some IKEA Nordly units to create a custom looking bench with storage. I'm assembling a few different sizes of the units to fit the kitchen corner and then I'm painting them to match the trim in the kitchen perfectly. I'm adding trim on the bottom of the unit so the drawers slide well, and then I'm adding a durable MDF top that we cut to size, placing it on some brackets bolted into the wall to make a seat. I'm adding some board and batten around the bench with some baseboard and some more MDF trim, and then caulking and painting everything to make it look cohesive. I love how this turned out and my sister loves it too. Both beautiful and practical, and it really brightens up the space. Now this Ikea hack has to be my favorite of all time. We had a huge shoe storage problem in our narrow hallway entry in our home. Using two Ikea stall shoe cabinets, I'm gonna add so much more function and storage in this space while not taking up too much of the narrow hallway's width. I primed and painted the units to match the paint color in my home exactly, and then I used some baseboard to make some DIY board and batten trim all around the two units after installation. I can store all our family's shoes inside vertically so it doesn't take tons of space. These units are only six inches deep, so they're perfect for a narrow hallway. I love this one because it's practical, it makes me feel organized, and I think it looks oh so chic. 
Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope it got you inspired to get creative with some budget-friendly IKEA finds. Let me know down in those comments below which of all of these was your absolute favorite top IKEA DIY. I would love to know. You'll also wanna check out how we upgraded our 11-year-old IKEA kitchen. I added some DIYs to it and I think it looks so much more high-end. I'm gonna leave that video for you to watch next right up here.